Radio, thanks for joining us. I'm Diesel from Get Around Oz, and today I'm gonna do a review on this fridge here. We basically had it for three years, and I'm gonna tell you a bit about it. I'm gonna tell you what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and how we found it. Now, whether you need a fridge to use maybe half a dozen times a year or, or a lot like we do, I'm gonna tell you about my experience with this fridge here. And I will point out as well, this is my experience. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm not paid to do this. This manufacturer don't know that I'm doing any of this sort of stuff. This is just my experience. And ultimately, I just hope it's bloody helpful. So anyway, grab yourself a coldie, let's get into it. Okay, so a bit of a backstory for us. This was our second fridge. So the first fridge we had was a King 65 litre single lid fridge. Firstly, A, because it was just our first fridge, it was cheap. Just couldn't justify spending big dollars for something we, you know, we're only gonna use every so often. But what we were finding with that one was, the cooling was really inconsistent throughout the fridge. It was one of those fridges where one part of the fridge was really cold and then the other side there was, wasn't really getting cold at all. And, which once you work out where those spots are and work out how to move things around, you can make it work, but, it's, but clearly it's not ideal. And I noticed as well, like trying to close a lid, you know, the, ultimately the seals weren't that great. And then our situation changed. We made the decision to go around Australia. And for that, while the King's fridge could be used as a fridge or a freezer, unfortunately as a freezer, it really didn't work because it, it Again, because it was inconsistent, it didn't get really cold, you know, at one side and it just wasn't going to do the job for us. So we knew we were going to need a, another fridge. And the day, I don't, we didn't really need a lot from the fridge. We knew it was going to be running all the time. It needed to be a fridge and a freezer, so we wanted to go separate compartments this time as well. What I was looking for was something with good latches as well. So something that would actually close properly because we knew we were going to be spending longer periods off grid. and. Again, the best way to you know to save money is obviously just fill up the fridge and 65 litres was okay but we wanted something bigger and with the camper trailer we got there was a bigger area available to us now whereas we got the other fridge before you know basically just for tent camping but for this one here we actually had a compartment size and we were able to do some measurements and ultimately try and get one of the bigger fridges for the space that we had but the other thing was I did want to spend a bloody fortune in the day we we just bought a a $22,000 camper trailer and going around Australia it's all sorts of costs and things we had to buy and I just couldn't bring myself to, to spend a lot of money. 70 or 80 litres was about the size I settled on somewhere around a thousand bucks was a sweet spot for me. I wanted something with a cover as well because I knew we we're going to be spending quite a bit of time up the northern part of Australia and clearly you know having a camper would help holding temperature. So there you go that's what I needed. I said on this one here, which is a kick-ass 75 litre fridge and freezer. First, they're gonna tell you a bit about it. Then I'm gonna tell you what I liked about it, and then I'm gonna tell you what I didn't like about it. So starting off with this one, it comes with a cover as it is. You don't have to pay an extra 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks to get the cover separately, which was nice. Now, you can take this off. So this cover is just all on by magnets. Literally, there you go. I like with this one as well, I don't have to stuff around with the cover itself. Like I can open up this side, don't have to unzip or change anything. Same thing with this one here as well. There is the old fridge and I think there is a lot of fridges as well. You know, the cover pretty much covers the top and you, you know, you sort of got to zip around it to get open. You don't have to do any of that sort of stuff. 
but there's a little spot in the front here there's a little pouch there if you want to put stuff in there so something else that drew me to this fridge was having these type of latches i have seen the ones with sort of you know the sort of clip on the lid the one we had obviously didn't work too great but um you know there's i know there is other brands that do have them they work so for me being able to clip that down like that it's quite reassuring so connections wise this one here has a 240 volt connection there which is just a kettle plug and the anderson plug here anderson plug for me was was a winner because the old fridge had you know the old cigarette lighter which which wasn't real reliable go along rough roads those types things they just tend to bloody pop out i hope you can see it well enough in the sun but you can see on the panel there it's currently at nine degrees because i've been open and bugging around with it so anytime you need to see what's going on it's pretty accurate but it also does have an app as well which i'll show you and there is a usb connection there so from here you can obviously use this to to change the settings in the two bins so left bin i could hit this button here and i could put it up or down so it does have battery protection put in as well there is a low medium and a high setting so if you're off grid perhaps and are looking to keep an eye on your battery use or you just want to be safe if you're in really hot conditions like we have been that's something that does come into play because you know we've had times where we've been off grid for a few days and it's been really hot and unfortunately the fridge is having to work a bit harder because you know literally it's 40 40 degrees plus you can actually set this one here to you know to medium or high and this one here you can actually knows what your battery voltage is and it won't go a certain point so it's not going to drain your battery which is handy and cooling speeds as well you got economy normal and quick now something i thought at the time would be handy but i've actually found myself using it quite a bit well you got the usb there there's actually another two usbs here so they're 2.1 amp connections and you've got a six socket there so i'll just show you a clip now of what i use this one for and actually when it's hot i use this one quite a bit all it is a little six socket goes in there and once it goes all right so these bastards come out if you if you don't want to use them these containers here can actually be changed over i'll just show you so i'll take him out so he comes out put him up there all that that one sits on top so as i was saying before there is an app to use this fridge so you can see there got the fridge status left bin right bin battery protection setting i got the current voltage of the batteries in the camper trailer here so clearly that helps with the the battery protection and the cooling speed i've got to be honest with you i don't use the buttons on the fridge itself i just use this all i do is hit that one there so from here i can turn the fridge on turn it off so for example on the left bin there it's this easy to go from four degrees to negative 12 or whatever sort of freezer setting you want to use now the right bin i actually want to turn off bang that's done obviously i've just got to set up to to show this one today and that's how obviously you change your, your battery settings it's pretty simple cooling speed as well set those up depending on what your circumstances are and depending on where you are i guess whether you want celsius or fahrenheit you just change it so again everything you need here is here now i've got to be honest with you this sort of stuff i haven't used much at all this is uh gives you a 24 hour temperature graph and a 24 hour voltage graph as well all right so there you go that's pretty much everything about the fridge i could think of only thing i did mention was this fridge does come with a five-year warranty as well uh which for me was pretty attractive but fortunately i haven't needed any warranty support so far okay so what do i like about the fridge well the first thing is it's been reliable hasn't missed a beat hasn't let me down at all i like that the cover just sits there and i don't have to zip or unzip or mess around with it all to to get to any part of the fridge like i said to you with my last fridge the seals weren't that great the latch wasn't that great but with these ones here i've just got confidence that they close it every time these lids are probably 50 mil thick maybe 50 60 mil the insulation is really good it holds temperature really well we're always using half of this fridge as a freezer 
you know, it could be one or the other side depending on what's going on. But the only time it's been really challenged is a fairly recent trip we did out to the wheat belt, basically, where it was that hot, we were just smashing water and, and beers all day just to keep hydrated. And again, this thing was just working flat out. And I've got to say, like, it, it was getting the drinks pretty cold pretty quickly. And uh, it did a really good job. One thing I do like, I actually didn't think much about it when I got it, but using the cigarette socket here, I use it all the time when we go camping. Basically, the fridge sort of stays out as it is in the camp trailer. And I use it as a table, so to speak, but I'll just show you a clip now what I use that cigarette socket for. All it is, little six socket goes in there and once it goes. So as you can see, it's a 12 volt six socket. It functions really well. These USBs here as well, I use them all the time. I normally have the fan up here when it's warm and I normally have my phone up here or Anita's phone as well and I just have them up here charged and rather than sort of have them in the camper or plugged in anywhere else um, most of the time. So something else I like is the app. It's it's just reliable. It's not glitchy or bug at all. It never has been to be honest with you. It doesn't matter where things go in the fridge whether it's the freezer side or the fridge side there's no dead spots to the fridge at all um, top or bottom loaded unloaded doesn't matter one thing i did forget to mention there is actually lights in here as well so this side's got a, a light that side's got a light as well so you don't need to you don't need to find the bloody torch to shine in here to see what's going on at night which is really handy another thing i like is this fridge didn't cost me a bloody fortune I gotta be honest with you, I couldn't bring myself to spend 1500 bucks, two grand, or something like that on a fridge, you know, for camping. Power usage in this one, we find it generally to be really good and really economical. When we had that recent trip where there was 40 degrees, early 40s basically, and we were flat out opening and closing it and putting warm water and warm beers in there basically to get them room temperature even played around with it a little bit so basically i isolated everything in the camper i wasn't using anything but the fridge for the economy cooling speed uh, by memory it's about 2.7 2.8 amps it was using when i was using on normal it's about 4.2 to 4.4 amps and when i was running on fast which is flat out basically with no restrictions about 5.2 to 5.3 amps is what it was using Okay, so now one of the things I don't like about this fridge, there's nothing I don't like about it, to be honest with you. This fridge has been great. I think I got this one on special and I paid around 1200 bucks uh, with the cover. That was delivered, so I think they get delivered from Queensland. It got to us fairly quickly. I have seen these pop up on special from time to time as well. So in summary, this kick-ass 75 litre fridge has been a beauty, I've got to be honest with you. And that's why I'm doing this review because I'm sure there's a lot of people like me who don't want to spend a fortune for these things but also don't want to get crap. If for any reason I forgot to cover something off in this video about this fridge and you had a question or just want to touch base on something or get some clarity on something, drop it in the comments please, let me know and uh, I'll do my best to answer it for you. Again, I don't work for these guys so I may or may not have the right answer, I don't know, but I'll do my best for you. So I reckon I'll wrap it up. Hope that was helpful for you. Now, if you're new to our channel and like camping, traveling, exploring those types of things, we'd love for you to check out some of our other videos. With product reviews, we, we don't do that much of, other than a few things that I, you know, sort of would see value when people actually getting information for, which is why I've done this one today for you. But if you've seen something that we use and you'd like to see a review on, let us know and I'll put something together for you. But I reckon that'll do it for today. Hope it was helpful for you. I'm Diesel for Getting Around Oz, Camper Trailer Traveling. Thank you. We'll see you in the next one. Hooray.